But look, I wanted to play you a little bit of how Sir Keir Starmer delivered his first speech after this general election was called. Tonight, the Prime Minister has finally announced the next general election, a moment the country needs and has been waiting for, and where, by the force of our democracy, power returns to you. A chance to change for the better your future, your community, your country. Now, it will feel like a long campaign, I'm sure of that. But no matter what else is said and done, that opportunity for change is what this election is about. Over the course of the last four years, we've changed the Labour Party, returned it once more to the service of working people. Well, I'm delighted to welcome former Conservative MP David Campbell Bannerman. Uh, David, you are widely regarded as uh, Mr. Grassroots when it comes to the Conservative Party. Uh, the grassroots I am hearing are not particularly happy about this election. No, I, I think it's um, I think it's a very selfish announcement, to be honest. Um, you know, it will condemn a lot more MPs to uh, having a really tough time, unfortunately. Um, and I, I, it seems very thoughtless, and that's why it's caused such surprise. You know, I mean, things are going in the right direction. You know, the economy is getting better. Interest rates seem to be on the verge of coming down, uh, and that could all help these MPs. But uh, no, he's decided to go now, and uh, we've got to live with that, and uh, you know, get behind the Conservatives. But it's going to be much more difficult. It's going to be much more difficult. Let me just bring up onto the screen now, and we can, we can talk through this. What would a Tory government look like? OK, so it would be Rishi Sunak as Prime Minister, uh, Oliver Dowden as his deputy. Uh, over at the Treasury, we've got Jeremy Hunt. He's going to be the Chancellor. Uh, and we've got James Cleverley there, who would have the top job at the Home Office. Lord Cameron is going to be the Foreign Secretary. And Victoria Atkins would head up the health department. So that is the Tory top team, David. Let me whiz us through what Labour would look like now. So Sir Keir Starmer would be in charge with Angela Rayner as his deputy. Rachel Reeves would be Chancellor. Yvette Cooper would end up at the Home Office. David Lammy would be Foreign Secretary. And of course, West Streeting will be in charge at the health department. When you look at those two teams side by side, is it difficult or otherwise for the Tories to make the case to vote for them? Well, I think the Labour team is is very weak, um, and uh, you can see that uh, from some of their announcements. Um, and like David Lammy, to be honest, uh, some of the things he said do worry us about Brexit, about uh, foreign affairs, support for Palestine, that sort of thing. Um, so I, I think I think Labour is pretty fragile, and he may be found out in this election. You might be looking at a ninety-two. I think the issue is, is this going to be like a 92 election where uh, Conservatives really surprised that John Major actually surprised Labour and Neil Kinnock? Uh, or is it like 97, which is a disaster zone with Blair winning the day? And I think that is going to be the contest. And of course, you know, Theresa May managed to lose a 20 percent lead uh, when she called a unnecessary election. Um, so it's possible that things change. but. I think it makes it very, very difficult, and it's a real challenge to the Tory MPs. It wasn't necessary. You could have given it a bit more. So you, you, you fundamentally do not think it was necessary for Richie Sunak to call this election right now, then, uh, and you think that that could actually have a detrimental thing. Can you expand on to the reasons why you think that Richie Sunak is selfish for calling this election now? Because, I mean, you know, no one can understand what he's doing and why he's called it at this particular point. You know, things are, as I say, are going in the right direction. They are getting better. I think that will increase the prospects uh, for many Conservative MPs in tight battles. Uh, and we could actually hold on to many more Tory MPs had we left it till mm. November or December. But, uh, but... The decision is made, um, and, and, you know, I think he, he's in a hurry, really. And, um, uh, you know, we've got to live with this decision. But I, I don't think history is going to be very kind. To but you're, 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 you're big in the grassroots. Just one last one with you. Are you going to struggle to go and knock on doors to Rishi Sunak? 
Well, I'll do it for the Conservatives and do for strong local candidates. But uh, I, I do struggle. And, of course, you know, uh, others like Ben Houchen, the, the mayor, the, the one mayor we held on to, he, he uh, wrote out Rishi Sunak, wrote out the Conservatives. There are ways of doing it. We've got about Conservatives, but I'm afraid um, she okay. has some uh, whole, you know, there, there's some problems there that are holding us back.